Okay, today we're going to be looking at this green glue noise proofing compound. And you've seen all the things online about it. If you've been researching it at all, uh, you can't use another product. This is the only product there is on the market. You can't go around it. There's no just using some other kind of stuff like silicone or, or glue or any other thing. This is the stuff right here. You just order it from Amazon. Fairly good price. And uh, it takes two tubes per 4x8 sheet. Okay, so for every 4x8 uh, sheet, you need to have two tubes. Uh, these are those giant tubes. These aren't the small little tubes. And uh, so I, I have a half a sheet here. I don't know if you can see it with this camera. But anyways, a half a sheet. It's going to go on this wall here. It's too small of an area to put up a full sheet. And uh, it's just too hard to do, um, too much obstacles. So I just cut the sheet in half, and I'll put it half a sheet at a time. So half a sheet would mean one tube, because it's two tubes <clears throat> per sheet. And uh, if you use one tube per sheet and try to save money, you're going to cut yourself off by 30% at least. So uh, it's not worth it. Um, I just did a whole other wall in the other room, and you can still hear a little bit of sound because they really, you know, you really need to use 5 8 drywall. I have two half-inch sheets, and it's not the same. It really needs to be two 5 8 sheets, okay? And uh, so I may even go with three 5 8 sheets. Uh, drywall is relatively inexpensive, and the glue is pretty expensive. So I might just go with three 5 8 sheets on the next walls I build uh, for soundproofing. Um, okay, so anyway, here goes. I'm going to go ahead and show you how it goes on and uh, how to apply it, and we'll go from there. Yeah, it doesn't matter exactly um, when I put it on. So uh, you simply uh, cut a hole and um, go from there. See if I can get my tube in there here to show you. Um, I already cut the uh, end of the canister off. I already cut the end of the canister off, so now I'm just going to cut this here. So again, it don't have to be very small. Uh, it can be a good size chunk, so it looks like about a 3 8 inch hole. And uh, then you just simply squirt it out. And uh, it doesn't really matter. You don't want it to be uniform. <laughs> and so you just apply this whole tube, and uh, you'll be set. And this stuff here, they call it green glue, but it's not really glue. Um, when I've noticed, although, when it sets up, uh, it does have a, you know, kind of a gluing uh, feel to it. Like, uh, remember back in the old days when we were in school, rubber cement? Um, kind of like that uh, kind of a t uh, feeling after it's done. And so, uh, anyway, so what you see here is uh, the way to do this. You simply apply it uh, however you want to. Um, this should be non-uniform. And uh, it helps trap the uh, sound. So you're going to use it. You think, well, maybe I don't need to use as much, uh, but you do. And so, Okay, so that's what a tube looks like on a half a sheet. If I can get a better picture for you, I guess it's a really small room, so it's hard to you know, get you the whole photo, but uh, that's what it should look like. Okay, and that simply traps the sound. They say it heats up the sound as it travels through the membrane of the drywall or whatever and stops it. And uh, I can testify that it's done pretty good, but I would also testify you should use 5 8 drywall. So, anyway, if you have any questions, put them down below. Uh, but that's the ticket right there. Go ahead and get it because it really does work. But use 5 8 drywall if all possible, okay? And if you're just trying to apply uh, some to an existing wall, use 5 8 drywall for sure. Consider two sheets if you can afford it or if you have uh, the room to do it. Um, doubling up sheets of 5 8 will make it very, very good, okay? All right. If you have any questions, put them down below.